everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a first impressions on the Shark Flex Style. I am sure you guys have seen this everywhere. I actually originally seen this on TikTok and I was like, is that a dupe for the Dyson Airwrap? Because you guys know I have really wanted that for the last few years, but like I could not bring myself to pay $600. Like that's a lot of money, especially with how like everything's been this year. I just could not bring myself to do it. So when I seen that this was like half the price, I was like, I want to get it and I want to try it. I do want to let you guys know I purchased this at Best Buy. I did when I purchased it though, you have to buy it online and I had to pick it up at my local Best Buy. Depending on where you live, like this was $269, but by the time they added tax, this was like $290 some dollars, so almost $300. I did not get the diffuser attachment that is extra, so again, this is probably going to range you about, I don't know, $269, $300, like I said, depending on where you purchase this at. Shark does have this, I think, in two different packages online at their website. I'll link it below. Amazon also has it. I know the shipping time with both of those, I think, is like, I don't know, six weeks, four to six weeks. But we'll say Best Buy took about two weeks to get this in store. I do want to say I have never used a tool like this before. So this is just, like I said, this is a first impression. I haven't even tried this out, so I'm sure everyone will let me know everything I do wrong in the comments. But my hair is really, really wet. I do have really like a lot of hair, but it is fine and pretty straight. My hair does not hold curl the best. Um, I will say the steps that I do take is usually I'll put some sort of like curling product in my hair, which I didn't do today because I felt like if I did that, people in the comments might be like, well, if you have to do all this extra stuff to get the curls to hold, then why try it out? So I didn't want to try or put anything extra on my hair that was going to help with curls, so I didn't. I will say I do still set my hair with hairspray anytime, which I feel like most people do. So this is just like an Orbe one. It's a travel sample size one. I do really like this. And then I will usually go in with a texturizing spray, which I have a new one here. I actually want to try today after I've curled my hair. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. I do want to say like, I can't compare this to the Dyson because I have not tried it, but I am really excited. So um, it did come in a box like this, which I've got mine apart because I wanted to go ahead and hook everything up. So you do get a total of four different attachments here, which let me show you guys. I've got them right here. Sorry, I've got stuff everywhere for this video. <laughs> oh, mine actually come with, oh, this screw. I don't know what this goes to, but I have a little screw. I don't know if this is important, what part of this tool it's come out of. So I think I might see if I can just exchange this one because I don't know if, I don't know. I know it's just a little screw, but that might be what holds the whole thing together. So I'll start out with the curlers because this is what I am most excited about. It's the one of the reasons I did want the Dyson. I know the huge pull towards both the Dyson and the Shark is that this is supposed to be better for your hair. I know Shark updated, not Shark, I'm sorry, Dyson updated theirs where you can turn this so you don't have to reattach these. But this does say right and left, so I'm guessing I use this on my right side and this one on my left side. I didn't watch any reviews. I've just seen like the quick videos that people's done on TikTok because I don't want anything that they're saying to affect, you know what I'm saying, like my opinion and I know sometimes that that can happen. I will say I did watch some of their videos and on just like Shark's website and it shows like after they've curled, they'll like pin their curls up. I don't like taking that extra step. I know people do. So like I, I'm just going to treat this like how I would when I regularly curl my hair because I feel like for the most part, that's what people do. And if you're in a hurry in the mornings and curling your hair, you're not, at least I'm not sitting here pinning my curls up. That's just, again, that's not me. And also it does give you this in here that shows you how to use it and she's not like pinning up her curls at least in here so we're gonna do it as this is showing to do it but again I'm sure everyone will let me know you know everything I'm doing wrong but anyways this is the first attachment I will say from what I've seen online at Dyson these kind of look like the size between the short ones and the long ones I will say I would think that shark will probably come out with other attachments just like Dyson did because you know same thing with Dyson. Once I feel like they got everybody's feedback, they kind of start coming out with other attachments. So you get that and then you do also um, get this right here, which I'm going to talk about a hair dryer that I do have that's very similar to this here in a second. And then you get two more like, sorry, I'm throw all this stuff down here. Brushes in here. Oh, sorry about that. Brushes in here as well. So I will say these look pretty big and thick. I did try that Revlon round brush and I did not like it. It caused so much breakage in my hair. So this does worry me that brushes like this because I do kind of feel like for my hair personally, it's not my favorite thing to use. I'm mostly excited about the curlers, but 
I do at least want to try these out for you guys. So, all right, like I said, we're going to go ahead and get started. So sorry, I'm trying to make sure because I've got this like setting on the edge, but I'm going to go ahead and plug this up and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I was just looking over the instructions and to get this to twist kind of like a hair dryer, you just push here on the back and just twist. I do think that's really cool. I will say something that I noticed right off the bat though is like how I would typically hold this. If you guys can see, I'm covering like the air vents here, which you know, you're not supposed to do. I feel like it's kind of like awkward to hold it up here. I don't know if you could, I don't know if the Dyson's like that too, but like this is, this is how I typically hold a hair dryer. So, cause I imagine, you know, you definitely don't want to cover the fan. So that's just something kind of, like I said, I'm just trying to give you guys all the information cause I don't, cause I know this is expensive. I just want to show you guys the hair dryer that I do usually use. This is from Hot Tools. I purchased this like years and years ago. This is 20 bucks. I love it. When I'm drying my hair and I use a round brush, I know this looks disgusting guys, I'm sorry, but I will use this and then just this hair dryer and it has this very similar attachment. It's not exactly as precise as what the shark one has right here, but this is only 20 bucks and it does work. This also has three different heat settings, low, medium, and high. And then right here, you've got just low and high for the speed. This has worked fantastic with a brush. It's like I said, probably less than, I don't know if all together I took the hair dryer. I'm not sure how much that brush was, but maybe 40 bucks at the most. Just something to kind of keep in mind because like I said, I'm just trying to justify the price of this product. I will say to me, the shark does not feel very heavy. I don't know again how heavy the Dyson is, but this doesn't. It doesn't feel very heavy to me at all. I don't feel like I would have any issues using this to consistently, you know, dry my hair or what or anything whatsoever. So right down here is where you've got your heat settings and then you've got also got the settings of the fan and then you've got your on and off button. So I'm just gonna, like I said, just see how loud it is. I won't do it for a while because I know this is probably gonna be loud. Okay, I will say if you guys heard that, that is really, really loud. I will say it does sound pretty powerful. I think it's really cool that, like I said, you can change, you know, the speed of the fan, how much it's blowing, as well as the heat setting. The big, like, I feel like marketing thing with both Shark and Dyson is that this is supposed to be better for your hair long term. So I feel like when you're investing in this product, you are investing in your hair. I, again, will tell you kind of like how I feel about the heat settings on here. So you do have the cool shot as well. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but yeah, let's just go ahead and try this because I feel like I've just been yammering on, but okay, we're just going to go ahead and flip this and I am going to put this attachment. Usually when I dry my hair though, like I will flip my hair over, you know what I'm talking about and dry it like that because I feel like it gives me more body. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to try the highest heat setting and then if I feel like that's too hot, I'll go down, but I'll put music over this so you're not having to consistently lis listen to how loud this is. <laughs> stop to mention like really quick that I did notice about this is this highest heat setting is hot it is very very hot I feel like it's very similar to the highest heat setting on my um, regular hair dryer I like the lowest heat setting that's very similar to I feel like medium on this hair dryer that I usually have but it is hot also my like scalp up here dries a lot quicker than the ends of my hair as you guys can see but I do like this I like how this is like really nice and precise but it does get hot like so in my personal opinion, I don't know how much using it on that highest heat setting would do for you as far as like, you know, being like, okay, not damaging to your hair because it is hot. But I am going to finish this. Like I said, I'm using the lowest heat settings. So I know it's going to take a little bit longer, but it's very, very powerful. And also, I don't know if you guys could see, but just to kind of make sure that you're remembering to hold this up here so you're not blocking the fan. to 
think it is. I think it's pretty close anyways by the time I switch everything out. I do like this. It's This is loud though. Like I'd be lying if I said this wasn't extremely loud. It's twice as loud as my other hair dryer. This does give you really nice precision, but I do feel like my regular hair dryer with that attachment does the same thing. Um, I, I mean, I do like it. It wasn't heavy. If you guys could see in the video a few times though, I kind of had to remind myself to kind of hold it up here, which I think is a little bit awkward, but it does get extremely hot. So just kind of be uh, careful of that. And then to unhook this, you just kind of, it just pops right off, which is really nice, but this is hot. Okay. So you do, like I said, get two different brushes. This brush right here reminds me very similar to that. Revlon One Step, which I tried and I hate that brush. I'm not using this on my hair because this looks just like it and I feel like it caused a ton of damage in my hair, just like breakage. So I'm not using this. However, I do am going to use the other one because I do want to try it out. This is more like what I would reach for. So again, on here, I'm just looking at what they've got. So this is basically for perfect, sleek, straight styles. So the temp on here, I believe is what this stands for is it's recommending just to go up to the second setting. That's how I'm taking it as. So I say we do this side that will straighten and then we'll curl this side and then we'll go back and see if you can use that curler on dry hair. So yeah, just trial and error. Snaps in really easy. I like it. Okay. All right. So I did just section this side of my hair up since this is what we're using this on. So it just says for best results that you want to section your hair to help with volume going from the roots down. So start by placing the brush close to the roots to engage the detangling of the bristles. Okay, use a rounding motion to engage. Okay, so if you have fine hair, try reducing the airflow to help cut down on frizz. So I have fine hair, so I'm just gonna do the airflow on two. can kind of tell it is really nice and soft I don't really feel like it's that frizzy to be honest either either like I mean I think it looks really good I really really like it like okay I I'm impressed I do feel like I can achieve like the same kind of look with my hair using that round brush that I use and kind of like drying my hair like that I will say it's a little bit harder when to switch to the cool shot and trying to do like one hair because it does say to like Pull and like hold your hair with some tension on it. Down, well, it says gently grip your hair. Hold the ends of your hair while brushing. So added tension and smoothing, which you guys seen kind of as I did. So, I mean, I think it looks really good. I like it. Okay, just gonna put the right one in there. I will say, does anybody else feel like though, like the brush attachments are kind of like cheap with these or like cheaply made? Um, they just don't feel $300 worth. I'm nervous because I've never ever used one of these so it's actually recommending the temperature go all the way to three on this one and the air should be all the way to three as well so she also looks like she's starting at the front of her head okay sorry I just like again I'm, I want to just make sure that I'm doing this right let's hang freely okay bring the one behind the hair behind the ends of the hair okay the ends will wrap around the middle of the barrel once the ends wrap slowly bring it to your roots okay and then once it gets to your roots 10 seconds hold cool shot for 10 seconds okay okay i don't know how i'm going to do all this with just two hands okay all right so let's turn it on
we got a little something there. <laughs> I feel like I'm like my hair is so dark, and I should have probably worn like a white shirt so you can see it kind of like blended in. I know that wasn't the best, but like I said, I feel like for my first go, we got a little curly right there. So these little pieces like it right here, like baby hairs and stuff that's grown out, like I would probably just take like a curling iron and just like flip those. But hey, I'm not hating on my first attempt. I think it went pretty good. All right, we're gonna try this again. I don't feel like this is faster than curling my hair though, but maybe if, you know what I'm saying, it's one of those things where you kind of had to take like your time. I will say this is hot though. On that third setting, I feel like this is very hot. I don't know if I would say that this, that would be the best setting, in my opinion, to like save your hair. But also, this is hard to do, like holding it where like you got a few inches and then trying to like do this. It's, it's not, click all these buttons, it's not like the easiest thing to do. like you know frizzy but I think if once I kind of got the hair the hang of it I wonder if I could do this really tiny like little piece right here that's in the front of my hair I'm gonna try it I'm gonna give it a go ah, <laughs> okay yeah that just just ignore that I would probably touch that up like I said <laughs> with a straightener um okay Let's see here Grab another section. I'm gonna do a little bit of a thinner section that time because I feel like it's too much, too much hair in that one, for sure. Okay. Like I said, this is kind of hard to. All right, so I tried to scoot back. I'm gonna try to stand up here so you guys can hopefully kind of see like the curls. It This is trial and error. Like it's gonna take some getting used to. Like I feel like the more I do it, the better I'm good at getting at it. But I think the curls look pretty good. I wouldn't say that they look as like sleek and shiny as they typically do whenever, like I use a curling iron, they don't look as like glossy. I think it's the word that I'm looking for as when I use um, a regular curling iron. But that's the bottom half. I'm gonna start on the top section now. But I will say this gets hot, like really hot when you get close to your scalp near your neck. So that's just something to kind of like, you know, take into consideration. So I just threw those strands behind my hair back there. I'm going to see if they can do just like my bangs right here on their own. I'm going to see if I can grab this under that little piece that I missed underneath. But sorry, my bangs have grown out super long. But see, I don't know if it'll grab that where I'm trying to grab that piece right there underneath. But like I missed that one. I was like, you know what? Screw it. We're not going to worry about it.
it looks terrible. It's hot though. Like that is hot using it on the high heat setting. I think that when I try it over here on the side, I'm actually going to see if I can use the second, like the second heat setting because it is hot and it like does burn your neck and your scalp, which I don't see how that could be better for your hair. I'm not going to touch this yet. Usually I would run my fingers through my hair, put some texturizing spray in it and some hairspray, but I'm going to just kind of let this set and do its, you know, own little thing because it is still kind of warm in some sections, even after I use a cool shot on every section. And I'm going to do this side and see how it works on dry hair. Um, cause like I said, we did, you know, straighten this, but I, I mean, so far I like it. I don't know if it's a tool that I would typically use every day, but I don't know if you guys could tell, but I was finally sort of getting the hang of it right there towards the end. And I was figuring out how to hold it a little bit better where I didn't feel like I needed two hands. So I am going to switch this to the left side. I'm just going to put this over here since that is still pretty hot. All right. Now I feel like everything's backwards again and now I'm just confusing myself. <laughs> All right guys, so I kind of struggled here on this left side trying to get this stuff here in the front. It looks kind of like froofy, but it's fine. I'm not gonna worry about it. So I will say if you guys can tell, um, it definitely has kind of fallen a little bit on this side, but it looks <laughs> okay. I want to, like I said, kind of just spray this with some texture spray and run my fingers through it, but it's a learning curve with this. It's definitely different. I will say, I feel like for someone who has like a lot of like baby hairs and stuff here, that you might have to go back in, you know what I'm saying, with like a straightener or something, because it does, when you get close, kind of try to grab them, and it grabs them like a weird angle, and it can kind of make them look a little funny, but if you're someone who doesn't have an issue with that, I think that it will be fine. But let me just, like I said, run my fingers through this, put some hairspray on, and then I'll come back and tell you guys my final review and kind of like what I think. All right guys, so I just went and I put some texturizing spray and some hairspray in here. And when I started running my fingers through my hair like I usually do to kind of like, you know, break up those curls, I did feel like it kind of started falling really quickly. So I just stopped right there, put some more hairspray in and just called it a day. I will say, I feel like this like kind of gives you more of those like bouncy, uh, voluminous curls. This is one of those that I don't know if it would necessarily last all day on my hair. But I do feel like maybe if I tried this using like what I would normally use when I curl my hair, like I'll go in with like a curling product because I feel like that really helps. But again, I didn't do that because I didn't want this to like affect, you know what I'm saying, how it like lasted using the product on its own. And I didn't know if you guys would care. So I just, you know, went at it with my hair just wet as is. Now, I want to say if you guys seen, I definitely was getting the hang of it, was able to start going quicker. My biggest issue is that I kind of had to remind myself, okay, you can't be covering this vent down here, put it up here. And then when you hit the cool shot and then you're trying to like go down here, turn it off, you can't. You got to kind of, you know what I'm saying, use your other hand, which isn't a big deal. But I, I feel like maybe if the buttons were closer together, I don't really understand why this is all the way up here by itself. And like I said, I do wish that these were up here so you weren't like covering the vent or the vent was up here or something. That's like my only gripe with this. It's not heavy like at all. I didn't feel like my arm was getting tired or anything while I was curling my hair, drying my hair, or using that like sleek brush whatsoever. I will say I really liked this, the sleek brush part. I feel like it gave my hair really nice and just like straight but frizz free. Like I like this. I think it done an amazing job. Like I'm really impressed with this. And then, like I said, I do really like the curlers. I think the idea is really cool, but I feel like the reason for the price tag on this is because of like this technology of this ability to like wrap your hair. And I know that the big pull towards both this and the Dyson is that it's supposed to be better for your hair, like long term, like you're investing in your hair. But this was still very hot. Like, I know that like when I got close to my scalp and close to my face, like I, you guys seen, I had to put my hand here because it will burn. And I did feel like when I turned the heat down, that for on the curling section anyways, it just did not hold that curl very much. So I had to go back up all the way to the highest heat setting. So I don't know how, in all honesty, safe this is for your hair, actually. I love the hair dryer. I think it's cute. Like I said, I think this is, you know, it's a nice product. But I don't know if I would personally gravitate towards using this every single day. Like right off first impression, I do still feel like I could probably get my curls to last a little bit longer and just to be like a little bit tighter because I do like tighter curls on me personally, just a little bit because I feel like by the time I walk outside, like this is just going to be like almost straight hair, even with the hairspray and texturizing spray. 
But again, that could be trial and error using different products. Overall, I don't, it's not that I don't recommend this, but I feel like if you are been wanting the Dyson and you want a cheaper alternative to maybe try out, I think that this would be a great one to try out. I think it did a good job. I really do. The hair dryer, all of it. I didn't have one single gripe about the actual, what the actual product did itself. It was just kind of like how it's set up. But $300 is a lot of money. And I, if you've already got a curling iron and a hair dryer, I feel like you can achieve, you know what I'm saying, the same look with what you've already got. But the holidays are coming up. If it's something that you feel like you would like to ask for over Christmas, I think that, you know, it is a good option. If I had to rate it on a scale from like one to 10, I would give it like a six and a half, you know, just because like I said, how this is going, it's loud. It does kind of, like I said, burn if you're not careful the side of your face, but it, like I said, but it works. It works and it was cool and fun to try out. I do want to try this a few more times. I don't know if I will keep this though, because I don't see myself reaching for it. I do see myself just kind of sticking it back in the box, sticking it underneath my sink and then forgetting about it. And that's kind of crazy when you spend almost $300 on something. So I will let you guys know if I end up returning this or not. But well, I will say I am going to return this one because I don't know where the screw goes. And I don't know if it goes to something inside of here and it, you know, like fell out. Did you guys have an extra screw in your box? Like, what is this? Like, I don't know. So yeah, like I said, I'm kind of on the fence with this. I think that, like I said, it's really cool. I like the technology. If you have been like had the Dyson in your cart and you want to try a cheaper alternative, I think this is a great one. It does a good job. And from what I have seen of the Dyson and people using the Dyson, I think it gives a similar effect, but I can't sit here and say whether they're comparable because I haven't tried the Dyson. But again, from the videos I've watched, I think that this kind of like bloom, this blowout kind of curls, it's, you know what I'm saying, does very similar. I like it. Again, don't know if I will keep it. Kind of leaning more towards on like the returning side just because why I like the hair dryer and everything, I feel like I got a hair dryer that does that. And I do like, I really like that smoothing brush though, but I don't know if I like it $300 enough. And I know I don't like the, cur like the, cur it grabbing your curls, like, yeah, that's the coolest thing ever. But I don't feel like, you know, you can get the same thing using just like a $20 curling iron. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Have you tried it out? Are you going to be getting it? Please let me know in the comments down below or like if you've curled your hair, how long the curls have lasted. Like I said, if you just comment down below, everybody else can kind of read the comments and see what experience everybody else has had. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.